Right now, there are no um, widespread gene therapy programs. They're all experimental. So, and like I said, they're typically for, ca for cases in which there is no other treatment. So it's a, it's a treatment of last resort. Very often what you would do is place the normal copy of the gene that's defective in the person into a virus and then infect that person with the virus. And it would infect the cells in their body and produce the normal version of that gene so that then they would now have a function that would replace the one that they were missing. The other thing you could do is put it into your bone marrow cells and those bone marrow cells keep growing and making blood. So if you put the um, gene into bone marrow cells, grew them and replace them in the person's body, you would produce that normal protein as well. We're not yet particularly good at making something only for certain places in the body. We can make something that's produced in the bone marrow. We can make something that's sort of widespread in the body with a virus that goes into the cells and produces the protein. But we're not especially good at saying only producing it in your fingers or your um, nose. So we don't really yet have the technology for that kind of tissue specific or organ specific expression that really works well. And that's what you would probably want because expressing something that in all the tissues of the body all the time at high levels could turn out to be toxic if you got away more than you would normally need. So that has actually happened and that you had unanticipated effects from introducing the gene that caused toxicity problems.